The weight of the world that was assumed to be put on Marcus Davenport's shoulders this season after the Saints used two first round picks to draft the defensive end may feel significantly lighter. That's at least if Alex Okafor has anything to say about it. I feel good, man. Um, I think the twitch, I think the explosion is back there. I just got to build that, that strength back in it. But as far as quickness, burst off the ball, all that I have that ball. Across from Cam Jordan, Okafor was having one of the best years of his NFL career. At the time of his injury, he was second on the team in tackles, sacks, and tackles for loss. Plus, he was tied for the team lead with two forced fumbles. But that's when his six foot four, 261 pound frame came crashing down against Washington. It was unfortunate because, you know, our season was taken off, but uh, I got another opportunity and that's what I'm excited about. The injury happened on November 19th. Initially, when Okafor spoke with doctors, they told him it would be an eight to 10 month recovery process. The University of Texas product just made eight months and he's already back on the field, taking first team reps at defensive end. Okafor knew that as soon as he was injured last season that he wanted to return to New Orleans. He said as soon as free agency started, nothing took him off that goal. Much of why he wanted to return to the Saints was because of how defensive coordinator Dennis Allen used him in a defense that finally fit how Okafor wanted to play. Before here, I was in Arizona and I had some good years there, but I was primarily standing up as a linebacker. And now that I can't, I know I can do that, but I think being here in the Saints, it was a good fit for me being able to put my hand back in the dirt. You know, I was real productive doing that, so I was just happy to be here. On day two of Saints training camp, what we're calling the play of the day came on a slant route by Michael Thomas. The nice grab in traffic came in a one-on-one -on -one battle with cornerback Marshawn Lattimore. Both are now two of the best players at their respective positions in the National Football League. And watching them compete each day at practice is truly watching iron sharpen iron. I appreciate them a lot. He comes out every day, we compete, we get each other better, we talk to each other, and then we know how to, once we get in the locker room and once we're off the field, we know how to be brothers and then out here, help each other get better. The other two plays that stood out on the day, during the team period, Boston Scott, the rookie running back out of Louisiana Tech, hit the brakes near the sideline and shook new Saints linebacker Demario Davis out of his shoes. And near the end of 11 on 11, Devontae Harris jumped an underneath route to tight end Dion Yelder and picked off JT Barrett for the defense's second turnover on the day. In Metairie, Andrew Doak, Eyewitness Sports.